Hello viewers, today I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful dress of a baby girl who is zero to seven months <clears throat> and uh, this is the front, uh, it has a low waist uh, and this is the belt that I've inserted and this is the front, then the dress has a tattoo neck and wear on the correct end on the signs of the hands and uh, this is the back of the dress you can see how beautiful it is so uh, i'm going to teach you how to do the pattern how to do the tattoo neck and also how to insert the belt when doing this work you will need this yarn this robin a hundred percent acrylic you need one and a half or a quarter and then you need a hook four millimeters in size and you will need four markers when it comes to making this part of the hands now <clears throat> if you are a teacher and dealing with learners you will need around two days to make this or to teach your talented learners how to make this because the learners will be doing other learning areas will be concentrating on other learning areas so welcome to my tutorial and kindly do subscribe to my channel give me a comment and i will be grateful for that thank you so much my viewers for helping me to climb this ladder of youtube i'm very new in it actually i don't even know how it works so subscribe for me if that is the answer help me to climb the ladder thank you okay we've made a, a, a chain of a hundred now we are going to join our work at the first in the book crochet sorry at the first chain without twisting your work just move slowly and come to where you have your first chain and then put a slip stitch put a slip stitch and remember we have a hundred chains so from there you chain three one two three and put and double crochet right where we have the chain because the chain is not counting and then make 12 double crochet in by making a stitch in every chain when you make 12 i'll show you what you are going to do next Continue working and make 12 of them. Okay, we have made the 12 chains. Now we are going to put two double crochet in this stitch, but they will be separated by a chain. So it is two double crochet in the same space, but they are separated by a chain. This is what we get. This is what we get. So we continue putting double crochet and we put 24 double crochet. Then we are, I'm going to show you what you are going to do. So you start counting one, two, three, until you make 24. So continue. Okay, we have made 24 from here. Then we are, do, we are going to do our second corner. In this is stitch, stitch number 23. We put it two double crochet together, chain one, sorry, one double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet in the same space. And this is what we get. Then we start counting again, one, until we make it 24 again okay we've already made 24 stitches so we are going to make 
our land corner at the chain 25th so we are going to chain one or to put a one double crochet then chain one then another double crochet in the same space from there we continue we work more 24 more and this we put another corner so continue and then do 24 then in the 25th stitch you put a corner then we are going to meet after that okay this is our fourth corner we have made the fourth corner i have also gone ahead and made 12 stitches this uh, uh, then we have reached the other or we are about to connect with the other 12 that we made being the first so that we can count them at 20 as 24 chains so you put your slip stitch at on top of the double crochet not the chain and that is so you can see our work is having four corners one corner another corner and this one and the third one and every corner is made up of 24 stitches so from there we are going to chain one two three and put a double crochet right where the chain stands in that space and continue putting double crochet until we arrive where we have our corner so that we can do the increase additional increase of this corner so continue working until we meet where we have the corner okay we have already made the fourth corner which is here i've also gone ahead and made the 12 remaining stitches so these 12 plus the 12 that we made earlier they form one line of 24 one corner of 24 so we are going to join our work with a slip stitch so that they can hand up to 24 and we are going to join on top of this double crochet and not the chain the chain is not counting as anything then from there now we have our work closed completely and divided into four corners so we are going to chain three then put a double crochet where we have the, where the chain is standing exactly in the same space because the chain is not counting as anything then from there we proceed putting double crochet in every stitch until we arrive to where we created our corner so that we can do some addition or addition of this corner and include the yoke of our dress so continue working until you get to where we have the corner okay we have arrived where we have our corner you can see what i have made this is the place where we made a, a, a corner so we come down here put under book crochet then separate with a chain and go down in the same space and make another double crochet then continue putting stitches and don't skip this stitch which is next to where we put the two so you proceed again and you treat all the corners the same way i uh, we have treated this so you can see our work is taking shape so continue working and work the other corners but i'll meet you somewhere along the way to demonstrate once more okay demonstrations once more in the second corner 
you just put it to double crochet but they should be or one double crochet chain one then another double crochet in the same space then proceed and put a double crochet on top of this chain don't skip it and then you proceed working as we said and you treat all the corners the four corners or all the four corners must be treated as i have demonstrated so continue working until you reach the end of the round okay we have finished the four corners so we are going to join our work with a slip stitch here then after that you chain one two three and then come down here and put a front put double crochet and remember we are holding the chain and the double crochet stitch because the chain is not counting then from there you skip this go to the next put a top double crochet then come down to this uh, the same stitch and put a front post skip this do the same to this stitch which you've landed onto then skip this and go to the next top and double crochet then a front post skip this go to the next top and double crochet then continue until you reach the corner and this is what you are going to get now we've arrived at the corner with the pattern so you skip this stitch here put it to double crochet in the space but they shouldn't be separated by a chain as soon in the video you can see what i've done then skip this stitch go to the next put a double crochet on top then a front post front post in double crochet and this is what you get so you continue working skip this and go to the next put a top and double crochet then a front post continue until we get to the other corner then we are going to converge there okay we've arrived to the other corner so we put a double crochet on top of this stitch then we put a front post from there we go inside the space here put a double crochet chain one put another double crochet then from there we skip this stitch go to the next put a front top double crochet and a front post and you continue with the pattern throughout the round okay this is our work you can see the project has started taking its shape so here we are going to put a slip stitch and join a slip stitch and then from there we take a round of three double crochet without doing any uh, pattern but remember in the when we get at the corners the four corners we will increase by putting two double crochet together which are separated by a chain so we continue working and see what will come out of this project so you just come here and enjoy your work with a slip stitch on top of this uh, sorry with uh, on the, the chain the chain is counting then chain one two three and they put in double crochet on top of every stitch double crochet on top of every stitch until we get where we have 
our corners and do the increase. So no pattern in this corner, this, this round. Now we have arrived at the corner here, so we are going to put a double crochet. So we are going to put the chain one, then we put another stitch, we are still at the corner. Then from there, don't forget to put a double crochet here. Then you proceed putting your double crochet until you get to the other corner. So continue and finish the round we are going to connect here. Okay, we have finished the round. Now we are going to join our work with a slip stitch on this chain here. Just join on top of the chain here and then from there we chain one two three and continue with the pattern of putting hex and then skipping go to the next put a top and double crochet then a front post that's the pattern that we made in this second row here so we continue working and make this round and another round of three double crochet then from there we are going to meet and remember when you get to the corner you have to increase normally so that you can grow the yoke of this dress so continue working just repeat this pattern that we made earlier here Okay, we have arrived at the end of the round, so we are going to join our work at the third stitch chain here with a slip knot. Then we chain three and continue a free round of double crochet without increasing. But remember, we only increase at the corner, the four corners of our pro of our baby dress. So continue working. I'll meet you. After you've taken this round of free double crochet. Okay, this is how far we have gone in our yoko making. I have made 10 rows and I'm in the last row of free double crochet. So we are going to change the pattern a bit before we start making the ham and the body holes so here we are going to chain three so i have already chained one so we are going to chain two three now in the same same stitch we are going to put five double crochet together those are three four Remember the chain is also counting five. Now when we have five that way, we skip one, two, three. Uh, uh, in the land one, we put a single crochet that way. Then we move again. One, two, three. In the land chain, we put five, a cluster of five. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we move one, two, and put a single crochet, and this is what you've been getting. 
So we continue demonstrate once more. One, two, in number three, you put a cluster of five. This is four, then five, then you skip one stitch, and in the second one, you put a single crochet. This is what you get. So continue until you get to the area of the hand hole. We have reached the area of the hand hole. So what we are going to do is we we have already have a cluster here of five. So this is the area of the hand, not the hand hole, but where we were increasing. So we will count the chain one. Then this is two. So we put a slip stitch on top of this double crochet or this stitch. And then we count again one, two, three, and continue with our cluster of five. Just by counting, we know where to put our cluster. So continue working until we get to the other corner. So we have four less one. Now we go one, two, we put our single, not a yeah, single crochet there. Then we count again one, two, three. In number three, we put our cluster of five. This one. So we go one, two, put a single crochet there. So continue, and this is what you get. You meet at the end of the round. We've come the end of the round where we were making the cluster. You can see what we have. Now we are going to do the final round so that we can be able to make the hand opening of our dress. So what you do, you come here and put a single crochet in the cluster, in between the clusters until you reach the middle. And now the middle is here. So here you put three single crochet in the same space and see what I'm doing in the video. So I put three single crochet in the same space, then I proceed putting one, just a single on each space. And then this is what you get, then you skip to this other cluster, continue putting single crochet until we get to the middle where you put three together. Now this is our main row, so we put the three together. One, two, three single crochet in the same space. Then we proceed putting one in each space and see what we are getting. Then we jump to the other one, continue until we get in the main row. The middle we are putting three. So this is the middle. We put three single crochet in the same space. Here we have then proceed. That is how we are going to do until the end of the round. So continue working. Okay, we have finished the round. This is how our work looks like. Now we are going to cut the yarn and start, oh sorry, put a slip stitch and then cut the yarn because we are through with that doing. So we just put a slip stitch here. 
then chain one and after chaining one you cut the yarn i don't have my scissors so i use my free hands i'm in a foreign home where i left forgot my scissors so this is what we have we are now going to make the neck we are going to make the neck then from there we start the dress so our dress will have uh, we are going to do a bit of the neck so yeah give me some time okay this is our work now we are going to handle the neck part so what we do is we get our yarn put a slip knot then from there you come down and get hold of the chain and then the double crochet because the chain is not counting and then put a front post and then tame the tail just crossing over that way chain one two three and put another and because the chain is not counting put a double crochet in the same same sorry in the same same uh, or along the same same uh, stitch now we can move on we can move on go putting a front post in every stitch until sorry these are the tails we are going to trim them they have no harm so you go putting a, front, a back post in every every stitch until you get the round however we will be reducing at chain 10 9 and 10 I'm going to show you how Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So chain nine and ten, they are reduced, becomes one. Just make a half double crochet in chain nine, then chain ten, you do the same. A half double crochet. So we have three, we pull them together that way. So continue until you finish the round. So this is uh, we have taken the round we have finished the round so we are going to join our work with a slip stitch on the stitch on the stitch and not on the chain so you join here with a slip stitch then chain one two three and put and I will crochet right where the chain is and continue with the three and double crochet and we will be reducing at chain or a stitch 20 so we have one then we move on two three Thirteen, fourteen, 
So 19 and 20 becomes 1. So we have reduced and this is how we are reducing. Okay, so continue and finish the round doing the same. Okay, we finished the round. We are going to put our slip stitch and this time we will be reducing our work at chain 22. So we close with a slip stitch on top of the double crochet here, not the chain. Then from there we chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and we put a double crochet right where we have the chain. Then proceed and make it 20. We reduce chain 21 and chain 22. Keep on reducing chain 21 and chain 22. So proceed doing that. This is the neck of our dress. Yeah, it is still wind. So we will start reducing heart stitch 10 again. So I have joined with a slip stitch, then we chain one, two, three, put a double crochet right where the chain is because it is not counting. Then from there, you, you reduce chain nine and ten, you make them one as I've always to soon you. So continue working, you meet at the end of the round. Okay, this is how far we have managed to reduce the neck. So we will reduce again at chain 29 and 30. We make them one. So I have joined my work with a slip stitch. Then we chain three again. As usual, put a double crochet right where we have the chain because the chain is not counting. So continue working and you reduce at chain 29 and 30. So proceed, you meet at the end of the round. Okay, this is how far we've gone. Now we are going to close our work with a slip stitch on top of this double crochet here. Then we chain one two three and turn our work check the way i've turned so after turning we put a double crochet right where we have the chain then from there we continue putting double crochet on the outer loop of this round that we've already made look for the outer loop and make double crochet on every loop the outer loop until the end of the round it's just you see once you've started the loops are visible and easy to penetrate so you continue working and then go around this is what you are getting so continue working we finished this round so we join our work on top of the this double crochet here Ready? so we join on top of this double crochet here but on the loop we make a slip stitch then we chain one from here we put uh, in the next stitch which is here we put a front post double crochet then back post double crochet and we keep on alternating back and front post in double crochet we make maybe four rounds you can make five if you want and then you will be our work will have completed making the neck, 
then we go to the rest of the dress so continue making front post and back post on this neck okay you have finished the first round i want to show you how you will be joining this area to avoid any confusion so you just get your work okay join with a slip stitch here then chain one then put a front post as it is appearing go to the back and put a back post and you continue alternating just like they are appearing they are presenting themselves nicely okay we have completed making the desired rounds for this neck and you can see how beautiful it has become so what you are going to do is you are going to chain one and cut the yarn just the chain one after putting a slip stitch chain one i've already done that so you pull your yarn and then you are uh, your undress is just there you come here now and you start making the openings of the ham so you just turn your dress this way then you look for the corners these are the corners the two corners that we need they are already there all visible we have no problem then come here and enjoy you again okay okay we are going now to put our gun or insert our gun here at the middle where we were starting our work always then from there we make the remaining or we make the ham holes and continue working then dress so you insert your hook after making a slip knot by now you know how to make a slip knot then from there you pull it through then you chain three one two three and you put and double crochet right where you have the chain because the chain is no longer counting then from there you put and double crochet in every stitch continue working and you put and double crochet until we get to the first corner where we are going to create the ham hole so put in double crochet in every stitch when you get to this area you just skip it and go to the other go to the other uh, cluster or a fan and continue making the stitches so continue working i will meet you when you get to the corner here okay we've arrived at the corner here so we are going to chain six one two three four five six and skip to the other corner here skip the ham hole this is the ham hole we will not go around this way you just come here and look for the center this is here and make our first double crochet at the middle here so we make our first double crochet you see one proceed making a double crochet skip to the other group and continue making double crochet until we get it to, to the other corner where we are going to create another ham or the second ham so this is what we get 
we already have our first hand who for our dress okay we placed the other corner so we are going to chain four one, six sorry one two three four five six then we skip this arm hole and then go all the way to the other corner the fourth corner and put our double crochet at the center here the center of this pan then from there we proceed making our double crochet until we get to where we start and so continue working and soon in the video until we get back to where we started our work we've reached the end of the round now we are going to put a slip stitch on top of the double crochet and knot the chain then we chain three put a double crochet right where we have the chain sorry for that so you put a double crochet where we have the chain and then continue putting double crochet all around including where we chain the six you put six in double crochet so we just continue i'll meet you at the area of the hand to show you how we are going to treat the chain so continue working So we are going to put the six in double crochet or a stitch on every chain that we made so that we will have six in double crochet and then proceed putting double crochet in every stitch. Remember not to twist the chain. So we already have six one, two, three times two, that is six. Then we move on and work in the remaining part of our work until we get to the other area or until we get at the back where we started. So continue putting double crochet when you get to the other part of the hand you treat it the way we have treated this area okay we have finished making uh, the part of the ham hole this is how our ham hole looks like so continue and make two more rows of free double crochet then you will connect after that okay this is our work so far so from here we are going to start increasing at chain 30 so you continue with the free double crochet and when you reach chain 30 you put two double crochet together we want now our the skirt to become wind a bit so you crochet at the 30th stitch you put two double crochet together and i'm going to demonstrate that so we are going to join our work with a slip stitch join on top here top of this uh, double crochet and not the chain then we chain three put and double crochet right where we have the chain then continue and make 29 Remember, we are putting double crochet until we reach chain 29 or on double crochet number 29. I have made 29 stitch in double crochet. So this is my 30th in double crochet. I put two in the same space as a way of increasing this part of the dress 
and then I'll start counting one again and I'll keep on increasing until I finish the round. So continue working. Okay, we have finished the round where we were increasing after every 29 stitches so we will continue and make a round of three double crochet without increasing so you chain three put and double crochet right where we have the chain to avoid gaps in your work then from there a round of three double crochet then we will come back and decide what we are going to do with our dress so continue putting the three double crochet okay we have finished the round at this injunction we will take another round of three double crochet but we will be increasing at chain 20 so you do 20 19 then in the 20th you put two double crochet together continue and make 19 stitches then we will meet and do the increase. So I have made 19 stitches or on double crochet. Now we are going to put two in the 20th stitch, which is this one. So uh, we can count together and confirm. We count in twos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18, 19. So the 20th is this one. We put the two double crochet together and we proceed doing the same throughout the round. So you start counting one again. When you reach the 20th stitch, you put two together. So continue. I'll meet you at the end of the round. Okay, we have finished the round where we were increasing. Now we are going to take a free round of double crochet without any condition. Then from there, we will come to decide what to do with our work. So put on double crochet because the, the chain is not counting. And then continue putting double crochet the whole round. Then I will meet you to show you what we are going to do next. So continue working okay now we are going to put a pattern in our work i've already joined with a slip stitch the round here and the chain three you can go ahead and do the same then we are going to put a front post on the chain here and the double crochet this is the double crochet this is the chain so we put a front post that way then we skip this stitch and go to the next, put our top double crochet and our front post, the very pattern that you are familiar with. Skip this, go to the next, put a front post and so yeah, top double crochet and the front post. And that is what you've been doing throughout this round. And we complete it. So continue working. I'll meet you at the end here. We've reached the end of the round. Now we are going to close our work with a slip stitch. Then we chain three and we put in double crochet right where we have the chain and we continue putting double crochet in every space but we will be increasing our work at chain 20 as i showed you earlier so in chain 20 we put two double crochet together so that we can do we can expand the width of the skirt of this dress so continue working at chain 20 we put two double crochet together we will meet at the end of the round. Okay, we have finished the increase. I have also joined our work with a slip stitch. So we are going to do a free round of double crochet. And after doing that free round, we do this pattern here. Then I will meet you to show you what we are going to do next. 
we have finished the round now we are going to chain three sorry one two three and then we put a, a slip stitch of both the chain and the double crochet not a slip stitch but a front post then skip this go to the next put a top double crochet and then a front post double crochet and you continue we are repeating this pattern so continue and finish the round okay we have finished the round now we are going to start putting double crochet all around but we are going to do some increase at stitch 20 so you will be making 19 then at 20th stitch you put two double crochet in the same space so what we are going to do is we will join our work with a slip stitch then from there we chain three and put a double crochet right where we have the chain and proceed until we reach stitch number 19 then the 20th we put the two together so continue and finish the round we are going to converge here okay i have made uh, four rows of three double crochet so what you are going to do is you continue making the three rows of double crochet that you want and then you keep on repeating the pattern make the length that you want then we will meet to do the finishing so mine i'll do i'll start now the pattern i'll alternate with the pattern this pattern that we are doing here and you remember you are chaining three then from there we put a post double crochet skip this put a front post in double crochet sorry top in double crochet then a front post and you keep on repeating the same until you make the length of the dress that you want okay this is how far we have gone in the dress making now we are about to do the finishing so we are going to crochet this flower here this cluster that we made here so because we have approached towards the end so you just get your crochet uh, and make uh, skip one two in the third one okay one two in the third one you make three double crochet in the same space then chain one three in the same same space so that you have a total of six then skip one two the third one you put a single crochet that way so you can see what we get then you move again three steps and uh, one two the land one you put the same same pan or a group of stitches three the same space then you chain one then three more in the same same space Then you skip one, two, the third one, you put a single crochet, and this is what we are getting. We are now about to do the finishing of our work. So continue and finish the round. Okay, we have finished the round, and this is how our work looks. So we are going to close with the slip stitch. We are going to close it right here. Close that way, then we make a few slip stitch half ones, and then this is our work. We chain one and we cut the yarn. I don't have the scissors, use the scissors to cut the yarn if you have yours around. So, this is what I have now. I'm going to hide this yarn. This is how I always hide the main. I don't know any other style then from there I will cut it later 
So uh, I have made a belt for the dress. I've made a belt for this dress, which we are going to insert through here. So this is the belt, just a chain of 150, and then we are going to insert the, the same through this space here. You look for the middle of the dress. This is the middle, and then you can use your crochet or any other tool to put the belt. Look at how it is moving. There's no stress. Just using the crochet, you just move. You can see what it is for me. So use whatever tool you are going to use and move around. And then we will meet after you have inserted and uh, negotiated was inside the dress so this is what is happening continue working